Hey everyone, welcome back to the chess yard. This is Dhir Bagga and I'll be playing the 5 minute blitz today on Lee Chess. Let's get started. Got the white pieces, so d4. Developing the dark square bishop first on f4, playing the London over here. Uh, knight hops in on f3. Uh, pawn e3, a solid structure as in the London expected. Bishop back to g3 if he takes, we take back and open up the h file. He'll move h6 over here mostly, he doesn't. I can pin the knight uh, if required, but I don't think that's something I'm looking forward to. Rather, I'll move the more aggressive option, c4. I can definitely take, uh, or I should develop my knight first. Yep, development first. Okay, he might castle on any side of the board. Uh, so I'll first fall close the queen's path of coming to b4. Uh, if I take his pawn gets doubled, but then my knight has to move away. Wherever I move my knight, he will be developing his... I don't know, I should capture, I guess. Well, let's capture and see. Or I should hop in over b5 here. If I hop in there, I'm threatening a check as well. So, yeah. Let's go. Trying to be a bit aggressive. Okay. He castles on the queen side. And now I can go ahead with my pawn army. It kicks away the knight I'm okay exchanging that opens up the b file now very much in fear of white opening up files where the opponent's king is there so definitely makes sense okay I am have to remove the defenders he has uh, let me first get my bishop making sure that I am pressurizing him Okay, knight would be bad over here, that takes away the advantage. Let's get the rook on the b file. I'll just push the b pawn forward. Okay, he gets one more defender, but that means I can move my bishop and pin the knight. Take on the knight, get the knight on e5 attack the bishop okay he's offering his bishop there's no harm i see as of now let's take on and control the e5 finally a good active square for the knight attacking the queen queen goes where uh, i'm threatening some attack as well okay here i now need to capture on the pawn maybe or i can take on the knight let's take on the knight spoil this pawn structure as well he takes back with with which pawn the center pawn okay the knight is pretty sort of there. We don't need to worry about anything. Now we need to create some path of attack. Where I first should be moving my queen. Oh, his knight is coming on uh, the d file now. d3. Castling looks good to me. I don't know. Let's castle. Yep, though the edge file is opened up. Oh, he goes back. That's pretty strange. Uh, of course, if he captures, I cannot capture back. So let me capture. Now I can push the pawn forward. Makes more sense. Attacking with tempo, he takes. I take back with the rook. The next attacker is also in line. So 
what are we waiting for let's get some space for the queen and the other rook as well he moves forward i can just ignore the threat if he takes i take back make some space for my king as well okay now can i just move the pawn forward okay yep it gives more space to me to attack attacking the king directly with two pieces already the third is coming did i push the a pawn forward a bit more maybe i could have delayed that but when you're attacking go with the full power making sure there's no chance left for the opponent let's attack the queen here he didn't expect that for sure also he has closed his movement for the king the queen is also hanging he's offering queen for exchange of course i'm not going to take it but move the queen forward or i can capture on the pawn capturing pawn i cannot take the rook for sure uh let's capture there's no other square as well i cannot come to the b5 attacking his rook so he has to move i take another pawn with the in the process i can align my rooks simply yeah that would be better there's nothing stopping the rooks so yeah next move is going to be very painful for him now i'm threatening some checkmate he has to sack his queen for a time being he might even resign now oh he takes the rook okay what is he thinking maybe to win on time you never know okay let's capture the pawn play slow he takes i take back he's trying to save mm. pawns i'll just rip him open if he captures that would not be good for him oh he ignores the threat that's even worse for him i'm gonna mate him probably should have moved to the b file i don't know give them space to run right not really though he resigns yep yeah comfortable win again lagging behind on time as always but good enough winning on position and making open design it was mate in four he could have just delayed his mate the uh, advantage of the pawn forward is always huge you could have just delayed the mate by giving a check and wasting his pieces uh let's see the game once uh d4 respond with d5 standard openings when you play d4 uh, then bishop to f4 developing the dark square bishop first otherwise uh, dark square bishop is probably one of the last minor pieces that develop in the game um then he develops the knight on f3 so knight Oh, he develops knight on f6 so knight f3 my response he moves e6 uh, so e3 pretty much identical except the bishop is developed first he offers the bishop for exchange and again as always uh, go to the g3 and let him take uh, that opens up the h5 and we open that up that's the knight to c6 and i play the aggressive move uh, because on to c4 uh, asking some questions already in the game if he wants to take another piece uh, pawn so he doesn't and then developing the knight uh, he moves his queen uh, to e7 here computer suggesting move a3 i rather went with closing the diagonal of the queen um, he moves knight in the center computer suggesting you can go for the take or move the queen on the diagonal but he wasn't going to castle on the queen side on the king side mostly 
I give him uh, a threat over there and he castles on the queen side. Again, uh, a good lesson from this is uh, never cast on the side where your opponent is already advanced his pawns towards and have some attack going already. The knight and the pawns were there on the queen side. So you should not castle on queen side in this case, but he does. I start pushing the pawn forward. He tries to kick away my knight. I take it back. Uh, King b8, um, a general move when you cast on the queen side, you try to make sure that you move your king uh, on the b b pair. Then I develop my bishop uh, on d3, attacking the knight as well. And he pushes the pawn forward to f5. Uh, here I moved rook uh, to b1 with the idea of pushing the pawn forward and going with the full attack. He moves a5, which was very bad for him, giving me space for my bishop. That's what I did in the game. He comes over on b4. So I capture on the bishop first. He takes back with the queen and I develop my knight. Take uh, centralize my knight, more importantly, on e5. Uh, and this is very solid over here, unless I exchange the knights. Uh, this is very controlling situation. Uh, in case he makes a bad move, we, I can punish him by moving my knight uh, on f7. Um, so he defends that by moving his queen to e8. Uh, very inactive square for the queen. So here I went for knight exchange. Uh, that was important uh, to make sure his pawn chain is a bit spoiled and the pawns are doubled. Uh, and that's what happened. Uh, and now he's threatening uh, attack uh, on, on my king, taking away my castling rights by moving um, knight on d3. Here I choose to castle, though it's not a good idea of castling when your opponent controls the edge file by moving the pawn forward. But here I was more confident about my attack than I'm going to do on my opponent. So, yeah, it's, it doesn't follow the perfect uh, rules of chess, uh, the theory behind chess that don't castle on the open file. But yeah, the attack was on uh, and I didn't find any problems with that. Uh, here he gets his knight back, which was really bad for him, of course. He wanted to exchange the knight because uh, my knight was very threatening to him, uh, controlling the center. He takes back with the queen and now I've got the space uh, to move my b-pawn. So right there I started move, pushing my pawns forward. Now uh, I'm attacking with three pawns already on the king side where his king is there. His pawn is also advanced. There's no other defender as such apart from queen. If queen has to defend the king throughout the game, where will he be attacking from? That's the problem with this game here. He takes with the pawn, opens up the A, a file as well. I take back with the rook. And now he starts pushing the h5. Uh, doesn't matter much now because uh, at max what he can do is capture on uh, the g3, which he does later in the game. But I have an option to take back with my pawn. Also gives me some space for my king to uh, escape over here, here, and even probably on e1 eventually. So I had always got the space. Uh, the structure is pretty much solid over here. So nothing to be bothered about. So here I push my pawn forward again, uh, making sure that he gets a bit into trouble. He pushes his pawn forward. Now, again, he can just go for a capture on the G file. I take back. So no effect happening over there. I move the pawn forward. Uh, he takes with the queen. And now I can. Uh, take control of the A file, but I didn't feel that necessary to be. I was just aligning my pieces on the uh, B rank, B file. He moves the rook ahead, and now I just challenge the queen. Computer searching, take the rook and proceed with your game, but that was anyways losing from here on. That's like six in the favor of uh, white already. He's not going to make a comeback. And that's mate in six from here, uh, but I Oh, what was the continuation? I should have aligned the rooks. Yeah, I could have aligned, aligned the rooks and then go for the attack directly. Um, I don't know. Maybe I wanted to attack his rook that time. I, I missed that. Uh, he comes back. And now I line the rooks. He has to take. That's a forced take. Otherwise, I'm threatening uh, mate. Here, again, he just pushes his uh, rook back on d8. And I first capture on the pawn. 
on f5. Um, he takes the pawn, I take back. There's no attack happening, even if he uh, doubles up his rook on the uh, h file over here, but uh, he tries to defend the pawn. Doesn't make any sense. Uh, I push the pawn forward, uh, making sure that there's a lot of pressure over there on the king. And here he ignores the threat, and yep, queen comes to a5, and he resigns. So pretty solid game, uh, was very much in control. And yeah, in between, I think somewhere it is showing a draw situation, but I didn't think any way that he can pose a threat over there from, from anywhere. Uh, I could have just aligned my rook earlier first, rather than capturing the pawn. That was the difference. But yeah, I'm not even playing grandmasters yet, yeah, but I have to learn and improve from there. Um, so align pieces first and then go for the kill, which I didn't do immediately, but yeah, eventually I did and got results. I hope you liked the video. Uh, please do let me know in your comments uh, and yeah, keep watching and sharing. Thanks a ton for your time. Take care. Bye-bye.